Okay, so I'm gonna show you a uh, air-cooled condenser here. This is a supermarket condenser. This is easy because it's on the ground, so you didn't have to go on the roof to uh, do this. And we actually installed this one, I don't know how many years ago now? Uh, six, seven years ago. So the condenser used to be around the side there. And one year we had a lot of snow and uh, slid off the roof and completely buried it. So when we redid it, we moved it over here. Um, and just to, to prevent that from happening again. So you can see this has four, four fans. And I'll show you in the electrical compartment in a minute, receiver on the bottom there. Compressors are in the compressor rooms around the side, which we won't get into that today. Four fans, they don't all run at the same time. So, uh, with condensers, you're going to hear a term called floating head. Basically, what that means is the uh, as the temperature changes, you don't need the same number of fans running. So, it stages the controller inside, stages the fans to, uh, to run. So, there, one just switched on there now contactors the last fan runs through a speed controller it's called the variable speed VFD variable frequency drive so um, and the other ones are controlled by pressure control as well as the controller in on the compressor rack uh, so that's the air cooled condenser um, what used to happen with these is the fans were all controlled mechanically, but you always had to run the last fan continuously to prevent thermal shock. That's what would happen is just like with the last fan, the thermal expansion contraction, it would actually rip the tube sheet apart. So this is the tube sheet here. So the tubes go through it and, and they, they make these different now. This used to be solid. But earlier years when they did that, this would expand and contract, expand and contract. It would actually rip these pipes right apart so the last fan had to run all the time. Now with variable speed, that doesn't happen anymore. So it's new technology has actually helped um, control these a little bit better. Uh, so that's a air cooled condenser. I'll show you underneath here. So that's underneath. So maintenance wise, these do need regular cleaning. As you can see there's a plastic bag right there just sitting on the bottom of this. So, so obviously if it gets dirty the pressure will go up and the pressure is going to get high and be a problem. So, that's your air cooled condenser 4 fan. This uh, is our Ref Plus brand. Again, control panel. This is controlled both from here and from inside. Um, so that's a good example of an air-cooled condenser.